I mean here, I just figured I'd do a NES collection video for you today. I I know I've done videos in the past on like my retro stuff, but I just figured I'd do my whole NES collection because I've got a lot more games. And just talk about each individual game, you know, just talk about it a bit and just show it off. I have a few box games and stuff, so we'll start with them first. Um, but yeah, let's just... Let's just get into it because I have a lot to talk about you, really. Uh, first game is the Battle of Olympus. Oh, um, some of these are PAL, by the way. Some are NTSC, which I'll go through um, and show you what ones are PAL. There's not really many. But yeah, this one is PAL. It's boxed. It's just missing the manual. Uh, the Battle of Olympus. It's a pretty decent Zelda-style Zelda 2 Zelda clone. Um, I beat this game. I beat it the other day. It... It was pretty annoying. The only area I hate in this game is like the snowy looking area. Uh, but other than that, this game's okay. It's decent. I'll show you the cart as well. It's the cart. Yeah, if you're looking for a decent Zelda 2 clone, this is... It's not bad. The only thing... Another issue, it's passwords only. It's not no fucking battery save like in um, Zelda 2, which sucks, but... Ah, well, what can you do? It's a good game either way. I'm going to put them back in the box as well. <laughs> uh, next one is Bram Stoker's Dracula. This is uh, another PAL game. It's the PAL version. It's in the box, yes, it's ripped, but I don't care. I got it in the box. It's one game I've been wanting, and it's okay. It's... I like it. It's not the best fucking game, but <laughs> it's still decent. I like this game, so that's just my opinion. Um, I'll pull out the cart. The cart's in really good condition, by the way. There it is. Oh, interesting fact, too, is the PAL version of this game actually has title screen music. Like, I have both systems. I have a PAL NES and also a NTSC NES. And I played, and I've got the lockout chip disabled in my um, NTSC one. And I put this game in, and the title screen music does not play. But I put it in my PAL NES, and the, the, uh, and the uh, title screen music plays. I have no idea why that is. Like, if anyone can tell me, that would be awesome. But yeah, that's just very interesting to know about this game. It's, it's fucking weird. That's just very strange. The title screen music's actually really good. <laughs> I like it. But yeah, this game's okay. Decent. Uh, we'll get onto the carts now. As you can see, there's quite a lot. So we'll start here. This is my newest uh, edition. Bart vs. the World. It's the power copy. I've been trying to beat this game. I want to beat all the Simpsons games on NES. I'm trying to. Um, I have three of them. Which I'll get to. <laughs> I'll get to the other ones. Oh uh, yeah, Bart vs. the World. I like this game. Uh, a lot. Of, this game gets a lot of hate. I mean, yes, the jumps... The platforming is very irritating. The controls are annoying. But to me, this game is... It's its a fun one. I enjoy it. And that's just all that matters, to be honest. Uh, there's the top of the cart. It's the cart itself. Yeah, I got it really dirty. I, found it on, I got it on eBay. Uh, the guy who was selling it was really close to me locally. So I offered him, offered him a price on this one game. And he accepted. So I went and picked it up. And I was going to give it a clean. I'm not really sure how to clean these. I'll look it up. But yeah, that's uh, Bart vs. the World. Let me just go to the side there, sorry. Because <laughs> I'm trying to beat that, so I'm just going to keep... Actually, no, that can go in. I'll just play it from fucking something else. So I'll show you that soon, sorry. Um, I'll start to do these three too. Uh, this is Robocop. A decent game. It could be better, but... It's okay. I don't like how you can't jump or you can. No, I don't think you can fucking jump in this game. No, you can. You can jump in the game. The only problem I have with it is I don't like the stairs. The stairs are annoying. It's been a while since I played this, but I I do remember finishing this game. Um, fucking the final boss is annoying. <laughs> 
I don't like the fucking final boss. It's annoying, especially when you have to go through the whole level within a certain time limit. Also, grab a certain gun if you want to beat the final boss quick enough. And if you don't do that, you're stuck with the fucking shitty handgun and then you barely even get enough chance you barely even get enough time to even fight the final boss in this game. It's a bit irritating, but I managed it at one point. Fuck. It's meh. I prefer this one or oh, fuck. I haven't really I'm fuck. Hell no, Robocop 2 sucks. I was gonna say that. Robocop 2 is a shit game. So it's Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Um I did a playthrough on the channel recently. I like this game. This game's decent. It's pretty. It's pretty fucking easy. It's an easy game. If you pl watch my playthrough of it, it's it's very very simple. It's not hard. It's easy and yeah, it's just a. It's decent. Friday the thirteenth. Well, everyone knows this game gets a lot of hate, but to be honest, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. I've beaten this once. <laughs> once. <laughs> uh, there's a trick to get the torch very easily in the game. On um, the first day, you can get the torch. Uh, you just got to get a key, go to a certain cabin, but cabin by the lake. It'll tell you to go into one of the cabins in the woods. Go to the cabin in the woods and then go back to the cabin by the lake. And then, yeah, you'll be... Then you'll have the body... Um, the torch and you'll be able to... Uh, defeat Jason very easily, and plus there's like a little glitch where you gotta when he's at a count when he's trying to ah when he's trying to kill a counselor. Uh, the trick is to go into the cabin, go out quickly, and then he'll be outside and fight him outside. It's much easier fighting fighting him outside the cabin compared to inside, ex especially on day three. Day three is fucking hard, but yeah, this game's okay, and it was done by Atlas, not LJN. The Three Stooges. Oh, fuck. The Three Stooges. I have no idea why I brought this game. Um, I've been wanting to beat it. <laughs> I still can't get enough. I still can't beat the game. I can never get enough money to actually save the orphanage. I try and try and try. I just can't do it. It's the, the most annoying mini game in this is probably the pie throwing one we gotta throw the pies the controls and that are fucking awkward this game is meh but i i love the title screen to it when it's uh ghostbusters 2 <laughs> and the three stooges show up and go hey fellas we're in the wrong game hey this this looks like a kid's game you imbecile it's funny uh it's it's meh it's just a bunch of fucking mini games basically it's not a good game <sighs> beetlejuice Rare made this game. People who made Donkey Kong Country. And Goldeneye. And A Nightmare on Elm Street. And Battletoads. And Killer Instinct. And a bunch of others. I can still not beat this game. I try and try and try. The most annoying thing about it is farming the fucking bugs just for points. Just so you can go spend them. Oh, it's so annoying farming the bugs all the time. The best place to farm the bugs is actually stage one. Farm the shit out of them in the first level. Trust me, it will help you a lot. Stage three is also annoying when you're in the uh when you're in the actual house. Going through the the actual house is fucking irritating as hell. It's a long level. It's the longest stage in the game, and then you're in like basically the graveyard. Then you're on, then you're on the final stage. I can almost beat this game, but I just can't do it yet. Um. There was the front level at the top as well. I forgot to show the top of the other ones. There they are. Robocop, Home Alone 2, Three Stooges, and Friday the 13th. And yes, there's Master System stuff in there too. <laughs> I'll go through all that some other time. I don't really have many Master System games, so I might just throw them in at the end. Um, depending on the time. But yeah, uh, Beetlejuice. It's okay. It's just annoying. It's probably one of my rarer games. Uh, Cliffhanger. This game is not good. It's not a good game. Um, it was released late in the NES library. I know that. I don't know what year. I've beaten this multiple times. It's, I can beat it in under 10 minutes. It's such an easy game if you know what to do. The controls are absolute fucking dog shit. Like, Jesus Christ. Um, I'm trying to get comfy on the couch. <laughs> uh, 
you have to push up and like left or right on the d-pad to run when you get the fucking shoes it makes no sense it's fucking stupid uh but there's the top of the cart but yeah it's probably one of the rarer games i have Here's Barbie. This is the PAL copy. Uh, yeah, it's Barbie. I can. I've almost beaten this. I haven't beaten it yet. I haven't beat. I haven't played it in a while, and I don't really want to play it again. But I can almost beat this game. I can get onto the last stage, and that's fucking it. This game is actually horrible. Um, my daughter loves to play this, so, I mean, hey, what can I say? It's my daughter, and she loves Barbie, <laughs> as majority of kids do. Jaws. Um, I like this game. <laughs> this game is... It gets a lot of hate, but I like this game. It's it's fairly easy. It's just a fun game. It reminds me of just an arcade game, to be honest. I mean, it's based on a horrible film, Jaws 4, The Revenge, which is fucking terrible. If you like that movie, I am so sorry. Jesus Christ. Uh, there's the top label. Yeah, um... Fuck, there's not much really to say about Jaws. It's just, yeah, it's just easy. It's decent. And I like the game. Even my cousin likes it. He grew up with the Master System, which we're, um, which we're going to play some stuff eventually for the channel. Um, He played this game and he can beat it. So, there's Jaws. Track and Field 2. Uh, this is the Power Copy. Uh, it's got a lot more events compared to the first track and field. See, I grew up with track and field in Barcelona. That was the PAL version of track and just normal track and field. Um, I grew up with that, with that one. This one is a bit better as it has a lot more events like, uh, Taekwondo. Um, it's got high jump, which is like, uh, diving. Uh, yeah, you got diving. Um, fuck's that? Canoeing? Fuck me, okay. Didn't realize that. Oh, yeah, fencing, that's sick. Um, but, yeah, it, it's okay. I do like how they look more like fucking actual people in this game compared to the first one. But, yeah, it, it's all right. Uh, chess master. <laughs> fucking chess master. Um, I don't really play this. I just got it for the collection. My cousin plays this, and he can... Well, every time he plays on like the every time he plays it on the uh easier settings, he always fucks the chess master and it just stays on that like loading screen for ages. Cause the chess master doesn't know what the hell he's doing, but every time he bumps it up, it gets harder and harder for him. But yeah, it's just chess. There's nothing really to say about this. There's no story to it, there's nothing. It's just fucking chess on NES. If you're a fan of chess, then hey, the chess master is for you. It says right there, um, the ultimate chess, mark, chess partner with 16 levels of play to instruct beginners and challenge grandmasters. That's it. This is Bart vs. the Space Mutants. The other Simpsons game I have. Um, I've got one more in there somewhere. Uh, this game again is okay. I'm trying to beat this one as well. I'm trying to beat both fucking Simpsons games. They're fucking annoying. They're pretty annoying games to play, especially like everyone who's played these games have know the platforming. I grew up playing this game. I, I never owned it, but a neighbor next to my nan, um, I'd go over her house and just to get out of my nan's hair just for a little bit. And she'd invite and she'd take me in for a little bit and we'd play some Nintendo and stuff like that. I remember um, Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle and Barbers of the Space Mutants is one of the games she had as well. And I played that and I couldn't do anything in this game. I didn't know what to do. But now owning it as an adult, um, I'm slowly <laughs> learning what to do in this game. I can actually beat the first stage finally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> after all though, after fucking like 15, 20 years, I can fucking finally beat the first level. Oh, 20 years. Yeah, it's fucked. Um, there's the top of the game. But yeah, this this game is okay. It's okay. Oh, I'm gonna make sure they're all good. Uh, this is my EverDrive. 
got an SD card in there full of stuff. So if I don't want to pull out carts, I'll just put in the EverDrive. But yeah, I'm going to leave that to the side because that's where we're we'll playing. <laughs> yeah, it's just the EverDrive. Uh, it's just full of games and stuff. I'll do... I plan on doing some uh, a stream or a couple of videos on some hacks and prototypes and stuff like that. Yeah, that's it. Just me, EverDrive N8. I got it on AliExpress. Here's the Terminator. Um, I have it in this sleeve because I've got the manual with it as well. This game gets a lot of hate as well, but to be honest, I don't mind this game. I can beat it. Um, as long as you gain the extra lives, this game is pretty fucking easy. It gets easier after the first stage. Um, stage two, you're in the... Um, you actually travel back in time. Stage three, you're actually um, trying to escape the Terminator. Stage four, you're in the police station. Stage five, you're escaping the Terminator again, which is like an actual, which is another driving level, like the first escape Terminator level. Then stage six, you're at the factory and it's the final stage. Uh, decent game. It could be better, but the unreleased fucking Terminator game made by Sunsoft looked awesome. I've seen some of it and it looks fucking good. But yeah, that's just the Terminator on NES. It's, it's okay. I mean, a lot of people hate this game, but I don't mind it. Ghostbusters. This game sucks. Everyone knows this game sucks. Um, I hate this game. I don't fucking like it. I don't play it. It just sits in my collection. It's horrible. That's all I can really say about this game. It just, it really, it is just, it's a piece of shit. It just sucks. <laughs> Fuck this game. Fuck it. I, I hate it. I hate that game. Um, may as well show the sequel. Ghostbusters 2, bit better than the first one, um, I don't mind this game, this game's okay, it's fun to play every now and then, it's tough, tough game, but I like it better than the first fucking game, definitely, there's the label, yeah, it's, it's okay, I prefer it, I prefer it because it's more of a side-scroller, um, and that's what the NES is best for. Super Mario Brothers 2. Um, it's a classic. I like this game a lot. It's awesome. Even though it wasn't, even though it's really called Doki Doki Panic, this game is still good. Uh, yeah, it's just Mario 2. It's nothing to really, nothing to really say about Mario too much. Fester's Quest. Well, um, the music is awesome. <laughs> I love the music in this game. The game itself is very, very tough. I try to play it. I can't really get far. I get lost in the sewers and shit, and the game is so confusing. But, yeah, it's okay. I prefer the other Adam's Family games. Or not Pugs is Scavenger Hunter on any. I think it's horrible. But, yeah, this one's okay. Uh, music's good, but it's meh. Gameplay-wise. Jurassic Park. I did a review on this. Um, the game's not as bad as I say, as I say it is in the review. That's just for entertainment. The game is okay. It does get a bit repetitive, and yes, it is hard. Like I, like I do say, like the game's hard. Um, because the dinosaurs they just pop out of nowhere half of the time, and you don't know when they're gonna pop out. That's the most annoying thing about this game. I used to cheat and I'd skip through the game, and I wanted to see the ending. The ending's fucking horrible. It's a terrible ending. I didn't think like. Yeah, it was fucking horrible. Um, this is the American copy. And it's a Blockbuster Video one, apparently. So, it's even more error. <laughs> this was from Blockbuster Video. That's cool. Apparently. Um, but, yeah. That's just Jurassic Park. It's it's okay. I prefer it over the fucking SNES version. The SNES version sucks. <laughs> Robo Warrior. This is a game I had as a kid. Um, recently got it past Christmas. Uh, Miss has got it for me. A bunch of these games, like a bunch of these power games she got for me randomly uh, as a gift. As she just chose random ones. I'm like, yep, yeah, fine. But yeah, Rebel Warrior, it's a decent game. I haven't played this in a while, actually. I have to try and play this one again. I remember, I vaguely remember it as a kid. I remember it being pretty tough, but it was a pretty cool game. It's the top of the cart. Bases Loaded. 
I don't like how the fucking... Uh, i got to mention this quickly. The top of it just says Jaleco, which is the name of the company, but the game's called Bases Loaded. I have no idea what the fuck it is. Anyway, uh, decent baseball game. I actually like this one. Uh, it's probably the better... One of the better baseball games on NES. I mean, I haven't played many of them, but I don't mind the Bases Loaded series. I play these games a lot. Um, it's just baseball. Nothing really to it, really. I don't really know what to say about it. It's just baseball. Karate Champ. Oh, fuck. This game is horrible. Terrible game. I can beat this. It's too fucking easy. The controls suck. I'm not really going to talk about it much because it's a piece of shit. Here's Bases Loaded 2, the second season. Um, they fixed the issue with the top. Uh, yeah, Bases Loaded 2, there's nothing really to say about... Oh, excuse me, hiccup. There's nothing to really to say about this game. Um, it's just baseball, again. <laughs> nothing to really to say about it. Uh, give me one second. Okay. need to fix something up. Um, the Adams Family. This is the power copy. You see, I like this game. <laughs> uh, this is good. Uh, it's decent. I can beat it. I want to stream this one one day. I want to stream this game uh, eventually because I actually really, really like this game. It's good. Um, the ending's okay. The hardest part in this game is probably the roof. That's what I recommend when you get Thing in this game. Save him for the roof because you can use him um, three times in a row to get through it. Then you have one chance to do what you need to do up in the roof. Don't fuck up. But yeah, this game's okay. You've got to rescue the family members and then go to the vault and beat the final boss and then you're done. It's pretty easy. But yeah, it's a decent game, by the way. If you haven't played it, it's good. I like it. Mickey Mousecapade. This game is okay. I got this for free with my Luki game points. Um, this is okay. It's meh. It's not really a, a good game on NES, but it's it's meh. I mean, my son likes to play it every now and then because he's a Mickey fan, but eh, I don't really enjoy that one. Platoon. This game sucks. This is horrible. I haven't seen the movie yet, but I think the movie would be much better than this piece of crap. Sorry, Sunsoft, but you fucked up with this one. This is horrible. Terrible game. I don't like it. If you'd like it, I mean, that's cool, but I really don't enjoy this game. And plus, it barely fucking works. Every time I try to get it working, it, it just barely wants to work. I don't know why. I've cleaned all my games, too, so I don't know what the problem is. Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. I should have showed the first one first, but... <laughs> oh, well, um... I've beaten this game as well. I got the bad ending because I didn't do it quick enough, but I still beat it. Uh, it's not as bad as everyone says it is. Yes, it's cryptic as fuck, but it's still a decent game. I actually like this one. Uh, may as well show the first Castlevania, which I should have shown first. Anyway, there's Castlevania 1. A fucking awesome game. It's classic. Everyone loves Castlevania. I love it. I love the music. It's one of my favorite NES games. Uh, Tecmo World Wrestling's the PAL version. This is very weird. I don't really know what to say about this game. It's just weird. I... The controls are fucking weird. I thought I was playing it the other day and I almost beat the, the first person, the first opponent. Almost got his fucking stamina shit all the way down, but... Then he eventually kicked, then he... All of a sudden, he kicked my ass. No idea. Made no fucking sense. This game is it's shit. I don't like it. It's horrible. The Hunt for Red October. This game is fucking hard. This is a power copy. This is a tough game. Like, holy shit. My cousin, my cousin likes this game. I don't really enjoy it, but he likes to play this one. It's a very hard game, though. That's all I can say. It's really hard. Probably the only way to play this game, well, the only, the only way to beat it is if you're really good at it or cheats, which I'm tempted to use just to play through it. But it's a hard game. I haven't seen the movie yet. I've got the movie. 
Super Spike V-Ball. I haven't played this yet, I think. I think I played it maybe once. I don't remember it. But yeah, it's um the power copy. You could tell by the Mattel logo. But yeah, uh, Super Spike V-Ball. I, I think it's just volleyball. There's nothing really to it. So I say. It's real pro volleyball action. Fair enough. Okay. Super Mario 3, uh, everyone loves this game, I love this game, it's great, it's fantastic, still yet to beat it, because I haven't played it since probably fucking, it's been a while since I played Mario 3, shit, it's a good game though, everyone loves Mario 3, Double Dragon 2, I grew up playing this as a kid, I owned this game as a kid, it's the power copy, it's awesome. I love Double Dragon 2. It's one, one of my favorite NES games. And there's the top of the cart. It's fantastic. If you haven't played them, three's the hardest. Uh, one and two are really good. Tennis. Um, it's just tennis. There's nothing really to say about it. It's the power version. And yeah, it's just fucking tennis. Shadowgate. This game is fantastic. It's one of my favorite favorite games i love it i've beaten it as well um i love the point and click adventure games just like using your imagination it's fucking it's oh, this game is just amazing i grew up playing shadowgate on the game boy um with Sh shadowgate classics i'm pretty sure that was the game that was a good game i grew up playing that as a kid and the nes game when i played the nes game i it was fucking awesome I beat it too. I beat it a few times. Um, it's a really, really fun game. It's one that has a battery in it. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. Alright, we've got two more big piles. TNC Surf Design is the next game. <laughs> um, the skateboarding is okay. The surfing's very, very difficult. Um, there's nothing really to say about it. I don't have the second one, but yeah, that's... It's meh. It's not the best game. Uh, this one is a homebrew, Sonic the Hedgehog, um, it's a legit game, I think I played this on a stream once, yeah, there it is, cart and everything, I've got this online, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just, it's an actual Sonic game on NES, that's all there is to say about it, and it just says down there, uh, blooper seal of quality, which is funny, yeah, it's just Sonic on Nintendo. Dr. Mario, this game is awesome. I call this uh, COVID-19. No, I'm joking. <laughs> nah, it's a fantastic game. Um, me and the missus play, me and my missus play this a lot. Me and my partner. Me and her like to play this a lot. And it's fun. It's a decent game. It's a very, very, very fun puzzle game. One of the best. Amagon. I think that's how you fucking say it. I don't know. This game is horrible. Uh, it's terrible. <laughs> it's a really shit game. I don't know if I showed the label for Dr. Mario, but there it is. Yeah, this game is terrible. Um, it, it's just bad. It's just fucking bad. Knock. Uh, cart's in terrible condition. This game's okay. I played this with my son and <laughs> my nine-year-old son, and he he likes this game. We had a we had a bit of fun with it. We got up to like stage three, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's good, a bit difficult, but it's it's okay. It's decent. Terminator Two Judgment Day. Um, it's the PAL version. This game again. I grew up playing a bit as a kid. Um. It's decent. I like the game. It follows the story story really good. But the game can be very, very tough. It can be very hard. Especially the motorbike level, which is stage two. Predator. Well, um, it's not that good. I love the music. The music in the introduction, like the title screen music is 
fucking awesome. But this game is not that good. It's really not a good game. I want to try and beat it. It's just, it's a bit tough. It's pretty tough. Road Fighter. This is a PAL game. This is fucking boring. It's the most boring game ever. It's just shit. Oh, it's pretty boring. Rollerblade Racer. This game is horrible. Look at that pink fucking label. Look at that shit. Oh, this game sucks. I hate this game. I can never beat it. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. This game is actually decent. <laughs> it's actually a decent game. I've beaten this. Um, follows the movie pretty good. Uh, it's not much to really say about it. It's just a top-down adventure game based on the film. Uh, it's good. It's actually a good one. Uh, there are no passwords. I'm pretty sure there's two continues and that's it. So you die once, you can continue once. I'm pretty sure you can die again, continue one more time, and then that's it. So you can't fuck up with this game. You've got to really basically play it in one sitting. It's not that hard. The only thing that's hard about it is probably like the sword fighting segments. They're a bit annoying, but if you know the tricks to them, they're pretty easy to get through. Other than that, this game is actually decent. I don't mind this game. I played worse. Here's a copy of Godzilla. The label is fucked. Uh, it's the power copy, but it's just Godzilla on NES, the first one. It's it's not that good. <laughs> Wrath of the Black Manor. Um, it's a meh ninja game. It's not that good. It's not that good. Gremlins 2. This game is fucking awesome. I love the music. Everything about this game, I love everything about it. It is fantastic. It's really good. If you haven't played Gremlins 2, I really recommend playing this. I cannot beat it yet, but I'm pretty far into it. I think I'm on stage 4. And I've got the password somewhere written down, I think. Fuck, I hope so. You don't have to look it up. <laughs> I've made it pretty far in this, but it gets very, very tough. You need the weapon upgrades and... When you get the weapon upgrades, try not to die because the weapon upgrades are definitely going to help you in this game. Only a few more games left. The Lion King. I've done a stream of this. This is the last game ever released for the NES in the PAL region. Um, it came out in 1995, I think. I'm pretty sure 1995. Oh, 94, sorry. Came out in 1994. Fucking Jesus. The year I was born. Uh, this game is horrible. It is fucking shit. It's missing half of the game. You only play as young Simba. I've beaten it. It's too fucking easy. The controls are terrible. I just hate this game. And you Americans are lucky you didn't get this game. You're lucky you didn't get this. This game sucks. So does Aladdin on NES. That game's shit too and I don't even have it. Thank God. I need it though for my collection but... Fucking hate that game too. I don't like this game. It's You don't even play as adult Simba. It's fucking bullshit. Like seriously, when you beat the final stage, which is the monkey throwing the um, coconut or whatever it is, that's it. The game ends. I've done a stream of this. Um, look at the stream. It, this is... It's fucking terrible. It's terrible. It's a bad game. There's the end label. This is shit gonna fucking focus. There we go. It's focusing. There's the piece of shit. Top Gun. This game is okay. Um, as people say, it's just hard to land the plane. A bit difficult, but it's fun. I don't mind it. Tom and Jerry. Well, um, I, uh, I've done a first impression stream of this game, and it's not that good. It's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the top of Tom and Jerry as well. It's not a good game. Wizards and Warriors, this is actually a decent game. I like this one. Ah, uh, this is the five screw NES copy, which is weird. It's pretty heavy, actually. 
Um, but yeah, Wizards and Warriors, it's a decent um, action platformer, um, fantasies like. It's really fun. I haven't played it in a few years. I want to actually go back and beat this game again. Um, but yeah, it's good. I need a few more games left. Alien 3. Uh, it's the power copy. I like this game. I've beaten it. Uh, it was very hard to finish, especially remembering where every single prisoner is. But it was a fun game, and I actually like this. It, It's really good. It's a good fucking game. Oh, my legs are getting tired. The Black Bass. This is a really fucking pretty boring fishing game. Um... It takes ages to even get a fish. It's not that good. I really wouldn't recommend it. I'd recommend the Blue Marlin. That one's a bit better. I don't have it, but I like that one. Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. This is fantastic, but the hardest one out of the Castlevania trilogy on NES. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Oh, it's the top. And the top of Alien 3 is there too. Sorry. Alien 3 and Wizards and Warriors. I know, it's upside down, sorry. <laughs> uh, it's got to be bloody back in now. Uh, any few more games left? Caesar's Palace. Um, this is okay. It's an okay casino game. I've played it a couple of times. I'm not really big on gambling, but um, it's okay. I don't like to really gamble, so if I want to gamble, I'll just play. I'll just pop this in and play this, or I'll play um, Super Caesar's Palace on Snares, which I have as well. Um, but yeah, it's not bad for the, for a game based in the based on a uh, casino. It's pretty fun. I like how you can actually, um, uh, you know, like choose what you want to play and stuff like that. And it's, 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 it's all right. Skate or die. This game is fucking horrible. Uh, the controls are terrible. Um, I don't like this game. I prefer ski or die. It's a bit better, but this is horrible. Sorry if you like that game. The top for Skate or Die as well. Mission Impossible. I don't like this game. I played it once and that is it. That's enough for me. I don't like it. Um, I'm not a really big fan of the show or the movies either. So this game is meh. If you like it, um, that's awesome. I'm That's cool. But yeah, I just don't. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? This game's okay. Uh, it's hard, but it's okay. It could be better. But yeah, it's just Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Everyone knows about this. I'm sure of it. If you don't know about Who Framed Roger Rabbit by now, then Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. No. <laughs> uh, Krusty's Funhouse. This is the other Simpsons, it's the last Simpsons game I have. I just don't have Batman meets Radioactive Man yet. Krusty's Funhouse. Uh, it's a power copy. And this game's okay. A bit boring, but it's it's really puzzle related. It's not a bad game. It's okay. I can't beat it yet. I can get through the first um set of levels, but that's it. It's not a bad game. All right, four games left. Karate Kid. This game is fun. I like this game. Hard, four levels long, but it's good. I like this one. Me and my, uh, my cousin can't beat it yet. Uh, me and him always play two players and I always beat the game. And he can't beat it. <laughs> it's funny. And then he gets shitty because the Typhoon stage, he can't get through. But I can get through it easily. There's an awesome hack of this called Cobra Kai on NES. That's ten times harder. Fucking ten times harder than this one. It's fucking great. I love that one. But yeah, this is a good game. Fucking games are falling out of place for me. Alright. 
Major League Baseball. This is not a good game. This is not good. I play bases loaded. Not this. This is fucking horrible. It's bad. Just the top. Yeah, it's it's a it's a really shit baseball game. Hey, I'm just trying to put some shit back so I can make more fucking room. There we are. All right. NFL. This game is horrible as well. It's terrible. Uh, it's the only NFL game I have on NES. But yeah, this game sucks. It's terrible. Play uh, Tecmo, Tecmo Bowl or Tecmo Super Bowl or something like that. Play one of them games. Not this. Or just don't play John Elway's quarterback either. That game sucks. And the last game is Home Alone. <laughs> the last NES game I have in my collection is Home Alone. Ah, uh, this game is not that good. There's a glitch to trick the... There is a glitch to stop the wet bandits. And then you can just wait out the time limit and beat the game easily. Um... I don't really remember how to do that. I've done it once, but that's it. This game is not that good. All you've got to do is just... It just reminds you of an arcade game. I like to play it every now and then. And Bethesda made this. Yes, yeah, Skyrim Bethesda. It's the top. It's the back. Um, but yeah, that's just Home Alone. And that was it, guys. That was me uh, NES collection. Um, hope you enjoyed it. It was a long video. I have a lot more. I have a lot of games now. Um, more games will be coming in the mail. I was going to try and get some whenever I can. But yeah, that was the NES collection. And I'll see you guys later.